Hey everyone, I'm Matt B and today we're exploring a fascinating topic that has emerged in recent discussions about the music industry, the significant decline of bands in the charts. Recently, Richard Osman highlighted this issue on a British talk show, prompting us to take a closer look at the numbers and trends that illustrate this extraordinary shift. Um, the disappearance of bands from the charts. Osman pointed out that the British music charts have seen a remarkable reduction in the presence of bands. While the first half of the 1980s boasted 146 weeks where bands held the number one spot, and the early 90s had 141 weeks, the current decade has only seen bands at the top for a mere three weeks. This stark contrast raises questions about what has led to this decline. Historical context. Historically, bands have dominated the music scene across various genres, especially rock. Iconic groups like the Beatles, the Rolling Stones and Queen shaped the musical landscape from the 1950s through the early 2000s. Even in rap and hip-hop, ensembles like Wu-Tang Clan and Outkast made significant impacts. However, the trend began to shift in the late 90s and early 2000s with the rise of boy bands like Backstreet Boys and NSYNC, which relied heavily on songwriters and producers. This transition marked a departure from the traditional band model where members wrote their own music. The current landscape. As we look at today's charts, it's evident that solo artists dominate. The top 50 in the US includes names like Billie Eilish, Bruno Mars, Lady Gaga and Kendrick Lamar. In fact, a recent analysis of the top 400 artists on Spotify revealed that only three bands have formed in the last decade. Grupo Frontera formed in 2022, Manus formed in 2016 and Richie Mitch and The Coal Miners formed in 2017. This means less than 1% of the top 400 artists of bands formed in the last 10 years. Uh, factors contributing to the decline of bands. Several factors contribute to the diminishing presence of bands in the music industry. Changing musical tastes. Rock music, once a dominant genre, no longer resonates with younger audiences. Technological advancements. Modern technology allows solo artists to produce high quality tracks from home reducing the need for collaborative band dynamics. Band dynamics. The interpersonal conflicts and complexities of maintaining a band can be challenging, often leading to breakups. Economics of promotion. It's often more cost effective for labels to market solo artists who can easily create and share music on platforms like TikTok. Um, the future of bands in music. Given these trends, it's unclear if the traditional band format will make a resurgence. And the music industry is evolving rapidly, and while solo artists currently dominate, there may always be a place for collaborative groups. Your thoughts? What do you think about the current state of bands in music? Do you believe they can make a comeback? Leave your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more insights into the music industry.